And so he went to this guru, right? And he told the guru, you know, I want to be on the same level you are. And so the guru said, if you want to be on the same level I'm on, I'll meet you tomorrow at the beach. got on the suit, he should have worn shorts. The old man grabs his hand and said, how bad do you want to be successful? He said, real bad. He said, walk on out in the water. So he walks out into the water, watch this. When he walks out into the water, it goes waist deep. So he's like, this guy crazy.
page. He's like, I want to make money. He got me out here swimming. I didn't ask to be a lifeguard. I want to make money. He got me in. So he said, come out a little further. Walked out a little further. Then he had it right around this area. The shoulder area. So this old man crazy. He's making money, but he's crazy. He said, come on out a little further. He came out a little further. It was right at his mouth. My man like, I'm about to go back in here. This guy is mine. But the old man said, I thought you said you wanted to be successful. He said, I do. He said, walk a little further. He came, dropped his head in, held him down, hold him down. My man getting scratching, holding him down. He had him held down just before my man was about to pass out. He raised him up. He said, I got a question for you. He told the guy, he said, when you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. A young arrogant chump, and to add a young talented drunk, beating up for lack of self control, but deep is my reality sunk. So much baggage, I had to drop it to get over the hump. But before that, I was a contradiction. Now, even when I brainstormed, that was inconsistent. But all an addiction is a mental sickness, and I was ill for my action, there were consequences. I lost everything I had with the quickness, like my career and my respect, and everything that I listed as a priority, thinking it's prolific, and sensitive, foul, and even egocentric. No morals, no role models, just independence, and pure motives as I conjured up evil spirits. Now, how can I be explicit? Talk sex, etc., or call women? Now, what would my daughter say? How would my mama feel? We went through physical and verbal abuse for years. I'm mad at him, now I'm turning to him. And now I'm doing the same things in my relationships. Man, I'm sitting alone with the lights off, wide awake, plotting my life that I want to take. I'm a waste of space, no friends. Just find me a correspondent and an author who can write about me achieving nothing. I got a call from my pastor, he said, how you been? I'm tired of lying to myself, I'm tired of struggling. I've been in and out of church though for months in. I partied out and now I forgot who God is. He said, meet me at the throne room, ASAP. My foundation ruined, I covered with placemats. So I got there and prayed, but my heart's hard. I started to question, do I really believe in God? I got missing for 360 days. I felt the devil on me, heightened my heart rate. He and my head like red, you'll never escape. I said, nah, yeah, this can't be my fate, yo. I looked up, I said, God, I backslid, I repent. Please forgive me for these things I did. And I'm sorry to the people I hurt. Now can you take over my life? I can't die without Christ on this earth. The more reading I did, the more seeing I did. I forgave and forgive and seeing I did. Let me further know redemption is real. 
and restoration, just affirmation that God can heal. So I testify, he saved my life, and now I'm back rapping. But this time it's in the body of Christ, in a minister. Thanks for those that didn't give up on Reggie Rock when I had already given up. See, God's purpose is to prosper, not harm. Sure, it's pain, y'all, but that eternal reward is far greater than the mindset I was the main actor wrong. I got faith and hope now. See, I can pass it on. See, Michael Jackson said you're not alone. But if you are, that's because you choose to be. But I've been exposed to a higher throne. See, March 9th, I was baptized in holy water ceremony. So, you know, I-D-O. Like, I-D-O, I-D-O, I-D-O. Now, heaven dropping blessings. Now, Lord Geronimo, God will break you down and fill you up. Once wide open and hollow, he fills it, then to seal you up. I'm one of the ones that made it. It just is what it is, no exaggeration. Gotta be patient. Yeah. Yeah. So I just wanna encourage y'all, just encourage y'all, man, that your neighbor, your brother, if you see him slipping, you see him falling, man, help him back up, push him. A lot of my friends, they didn't get to make it. You know what I'm saying? I've been rapping for a while. And a lot of my brothers, they still out there. But I've been redeemed, I've been renewed. I've been renewed with the Spirit of God that I may be able to go back and help them. And not just see it as a game because to be honest, a lot of us won't make it. But it's up to you to choose if you're gonna help your brother or you're gonna hinder your brother. So choose to help your brother, right? All right, y'all. Peace. Hey, y'all get ready to rock. Hey, one more time. Let me get here. Let me get here. Winner of this is a night flight basketball and a free show basketball. You get a night flight t-shirt and you get the album from Reggie Rock. So if we win this, you get a lot. All right, let's talk to my man out here. What's your name? What school you represent? It's a beer here. You still have to be here. Okay, okay. Yeah. Right. Really? Oh, here we go. I know Rock is Rock is the blood of the world. I ain't never seen Rock miss a free throw. Rock don't miss no free throw. Look at that pass. I like, ooh. Come on, Rock. You got 15 seconds. Oh, you got to cash out. Come on, now. Yeah. There we go. Y'all get in here now. Here you got 10 seconds. Let's go, Rock. Ready? Yeah. Rocky, I had to tell you. Rock. All right, y'all. It's your girl, Shan Shan, checking in. We are in the summer kickoff tonight. I have my boy Rock right here with me. Now, Rock, you were just in the skill challenge. Can you tell us how you were feeling before the skill challenge? I was feeling kind of nervous, but when I got up there, I thought it's just a piece of cake. It's just a piece of cake when I got up there. So I was real focused and so like that. And I took all that in and motivated me, so I just. All right, now can you describe the skill challenge to us? Well, first, um, you get like a certain amount of seconds to make a layup, a three-pointer, and a half-court shot. And if you make all that, you earn prizes. So I got a shirt and two basketballs. All right. Look at the check the shirt out, and you got two balls. Now. This was the last day of school. I got one more question. What are you going to do for the summer? Well, I'm playing AAU for the summer, so we've traveled a lot. That's what I'm doing for the summer, AAU basketball. There you go. You have it. He's going to be a busy man this summer. All right. I'm checking out. We'll be back. What's up, guys? This is your girl, Rashana, checking in. I have a very special guest with me. Sir, what's your name? Reggie Rock. Reggie Rock. You guys, he just killed it during our pre-show tonight. Mr. Rock. First of all, I mean, how did you get started with your rap career? Um, just, I think, just like any other rapper, just passionate about music, yeah. uh, looking at everybody who's coming up influencing yeah. us, pretty much in the secular world at first, you know, like Nas, Jay-Z, Biggie, so I figured I could rap yeah. at the beginning, before a change in my life, <laughs> which changed my message, of yeah. course, so um, it's pretty much it. Listen, y'all, sometimes I feel like I can rap too, but I'm not going to try it. I'm not going to try it. What made you bring your talents here tonight, Flight Tonight? We have a basketball. Um, we do teach the kids about character. What made you want to come here tonight and share with us? Well, actually, Lamar Reeves reached out to me, and um, I just felt uh, any opportunity when I, have enabled, when I have an opportunity to speak the gospel of Jesus Christ, 
be able to uplift, encourage, motivate the youth especially. And I, I, I'm, I'm most definitely like, there's not even a question, yeah. do I need to be there? Yay. So yeah, so. Well, we appreciate you coming out tonight. Um, for you guys, you didn't get to see his performance, but we would love for you to connect with you more. How can the people reach you? Uh, go to Facebook, uh, Reggie, R-O-C-C, -C, uh, Reggie Rock. Uh, Instagram, Reggie Rock, Reggie, R-O-C-C. -C. Facebook, <laughs> Reggie Rock. Uh, Twitter, Reggie Rock. Uh, YouTube, check all my videos out. I have a brand new album out on uh, iTunes. Uh, Google Play, Spotify, entitled Soliloquy. So, um, man, just wherever music is sold, um, you can find me. You guys heard it here. Mr. Reggie Rock here. Check him out. We'll be back with you with more interviews. It's your girl Rashonda checking in once again. I have one of our night flight participants here with me. What's your name? Isaiah. Isaiah. So word on the street is this is your first time here. What do you think about night flight so far? It's fun. It's fun? Did you come with any of your friends? Mm-hmm. All right, Isaiah. So summer is here. School is out. Tell me, what school are you going to? What grade did you graduate to? And what are your plans for the summer? I came from Hughes and I'm going to the seventh grade and my plans for the summer is to play a summer league bas basketball. All right, you heard it. He has big plans for the summer AAU basketball. We look forward to hearing more great things about you, Isaiah, and we'll be checking in again back with you guys later. Bye. All right, y'all, I am back and this is, this is a special moment for me because I've been on Avery since he was about five years old. Avery, why are you so excited right now? Because we won. You won the game. All right, what did it take for you to win? Sports mission. Like, teamwork. Teamwork, that's what I like. Teamwork, and I know sometimes that you want to ball haul, but you know you have to have self-discipline, right? Yeah. Then. All right, Avery, what grade are you going to? Six. Oh, I feel so old. My baby is going to the sixth grade. What are your plans for the summer? Going to Atlanta. Atlanta for what? My family live down there. All right. Now, what are you going to be doing down there? Going swimming. Go to flip six lights. That's my favorite place. Make sure you ride Goliath, okay? That's my favorite ride, all right? <laughs> All right, there you have it. His team won, and he said it took teamwork. All right, we'll check back in later. Still got it. One leg, I still got it.
All right, y'all, I'm back with these basketball players, and I'm mad. I never meet girls that are taller than me. I mean, I think I got you, though. Well, girls, all right, I got some questions for you. Your name and what grade you were going into, being that school was over after today for this year. Uh, my name is Money, and I'm going into the 10th grade. My name is AZ, and I'm going to the 11th. My name is Shamia, and I'm going to be a senior. My name's Lashara, and I'm going to the 11th. All right. Now, I want to know, ladies, what are your plans for this summer? My plan is to get better at basketball and just have fun and just to chill. Yep, get better at basketball and turn up. <laughs> <laughs> Make memories, have fun, play basketball, and work. Just to... My bad, somebody called me. Um, get better at basketball <laughs> and have fun with them. I mean, we are doing an interview, right? All right. So, ladies, I'm glad that y'all are out here. Are y'all going to get on the court tonight? Not tonight, but maybe another yeah, yeah. Not tonight, but another time. All right. Now, you saying turn up. What, you going to be turning up, having fun at your basketball team? That's what you're talking about? Yeah. yeah. All right, then. In a good way, not yeah, like a bad yeah, way. way. Oh, okay, then. Okay, well, thank you for clarifying that for me, girl. All right, y'all. Well, we're going to check out. Man, I love kids out here. Man, look, if you want to praise God, come here. What's up, Night Flight family? It's Rashonda checking in again, and I have some of our amazing, amazing volunteers with us. What's your name, and how long have you been with Night Flight? My name is Dee Lindsay. This is my husband, Ken, and we have been serving for six seasons. Six seasons. So you guys have been here since the beginning. Yes, we have. Wow, that's amazing. How have you seen Night Flight evolve since the first time we opened our doors? Um, well, the sustainability, being able to keep kids in day in and day out for six years, and the volunteers has wrapped up. And um, a lot of the kids that are returning, then we have a few kids that graduate high school that are in college. So it's like a small family. So um, I get to see some of them around outside of night flight in the local grocery stores and things like that. And, um, you know, it's good. It's good to see them outside of night flight and um, seeing how they've grown. I, I agree with you. It's amazing to see them coming here like this tall. And then next week they're like taller than me and they're in college and starting families and starting careers. It's so amazing. What, what would you guys say has been your um, favorite night flight moment? What has been your favorite night flight moment? Okay, I think for me, one, um, one Friday night, they actually did a salvation call. Yeah. And at first it was kind of quiet and uh, we saw one young man uh, raise his hand and it just took that one and then several other kids started raising their hand and it just was just so heartfelt just to see yeah. um, them wanting to make a change. Yeah. I was here that night. It was very special. Okay, my last question. You guys have been away for a little bit because you've been doing AAU with your son. Go KJ! Um, but how does it feel to be back tonight with us again? How does it feel? Uh, man, it's family. Um, we love serving. Um, Lamont does, I mean, Lamar does a great job in organizing it. And then the other volunteers come in. It's a nice flow. It's, you know, to have so many kids that really are not what we call church, but just to come in and to be organized and, and give them a safe environment. I love it. And, uh, man, we was excited. You're like, okay, what are we going to do? I said, we're going to do night flight. So um, it was good to be back. Yeah, well, we are so glad to have you guys back. You. you see our shirts with legends, legends yeah, established legends. 2012. You guys, we are with night flight veterans here tonight. Check back with us later on. We have some more interviews coming up.
What's up, y'all? It's Rashana checking in again. I have another very special guest who came to join us for our summer tip off. Tip off here. What's your name, and what did you come do here? Jason, and I was invited to come draw spectators and people just here not playing tonight, uh, drawing a caricature stand. So everybody got nice little drawings done, and it was fun and had a good time. Yes. Well, thank you for coming. We so yeah. enjoyed you. So. We asked the artists to come here where we play basketball. Yeah. <laughs> what made you want to come, and how do you feel about Night Fight? Well, I love the youth, and I think it's just a really good opportunity for people to come uh, who would otherwise on a Friday night be out doing who knows what. So, uh, you know, they get to come out and enjoy this, and, you know, they got a little something extra tonight. Pizza, a couple cartoon drawings, and some fun, so it was good. Well, thank you so much, Jason, for joining us. We hope you come back again maybe to play a little basketball. Night Flight fam, this is just the beginning. Summer tip off. We will be back in session next week. Make sure you come join us then. Just case you make it. Just for Cleveland.
Also, man, my man Blake was on there catching. This guy didn't miss one three pointer. He saved us the whole time. Justin played great. He didn't play no defense, but he played great. My man right here, DeAndre, you know, his hair was on point. His bounce was good. His IQ is a little good. He's all right. He had to have a light skin brother in the house of Jerry. That really set up the But this guy right here is a game changer. At the end of the day, man, we give God all the good. Hey, man, we got the dub. We got the championship. We got everything in the Hey, man, that's what it is. That's it. We out for the summer tip-off. Peace.